Okay, guys, I'm on a sales mission. I want to sell stuff that I got, all right? And why do I want to sell it? Because I want money. Why do I want money? Because of three things, food, clothing, and shelter. They're high on my bucket list. Let me show you something here that's hot. All right, I think it's hot. Let me lay it on you, and then then I'll show you how to use it, all right? See this thing over here, it says, well, first of all, you want to get in touch with me? My leatherhead's at the top, all right? Let me move it up. See, that says, Vice Mate, $125, free shipping in the U.S. of A. All right? I'm showing pictures of it. Picture on the left. It's the vice mate in the box with the box open. Picture on the right, you don't see the cover, but the, that that item where my mouse is, is lifted out of there. It's on foam. Oh, right here. Here's a better look at it here. Picture on the left, box is closed. Picture on the right, box is open, nothing in it. Over here shows... Vice mate, three different positions, you know, top, bottom, side, all that good shit. And I can elaborate on all the other stuff, all right? That's what I'm trying to sell today. Let me lay something on you, show you what it is and how to use it. All right, the subject is vice mate. What the hell's vice mate? It's an item that goes in the milling machine vice. And it's a, it's a companion product to Lay's compound sign bar. If you got a, a four inch sign bar, you're good. You're, this, you're a candidate for this. It goes in the milling machine vice and you get fast, accurate angles. I don't mean 10 degrees, 12. There are things out there for sale, angle blocks that are, are known angles right, five degrees, 10, 15, all that bullshit. I'm talking about cutting angles, any angles, minutes, degrees, seconds, decimal angles, all of that bullshit, right? You know, those you can't do with them and they're limited in size. So let me start here, all right? First, let me show you what the hell Vice made this, all right? All right. Looking at this, here's a top view, right? It's made of steel, low carbon steel, black oxide finish, right? It's got three flathead screws in it. See this the flathead screw on the right, right? See item A, that's the top piece, and item B is the bottom piece. They all fit together. On the right, it's broken down. On the left, it's assembled. You can see it here. You see it right there? Flathead screw, top plate. This is the part that goes in the vise, right? All right. There, everything is dead parallel and dead square, right? Uh, so let me show you this. Looking at it from the side, right? You can see it this way, right? Three stainless steel flathead screws pulls part A down onto part B, right? This is a lot of the scribble here, right? Now, let me show you how it how it goes. Here's the vise, and, all right? Here's the assembled piece. I'm showing a vise. Here's the set of jaws. A fixed jaw up the top, movable jaw at the bottom. You take this thing, which is square and parallel every which way from Sunday, and you put it in the vise. Let me do this. This 
is above the jaws. This piece here is tall enough to make sure you don't collide with the top of your fixed jaw, right? And that, um, and you know, it, it's got plenty of room. Now this height, from on either side, this top piece is dead parallel to your vice jaw. This side is dead parallel. All these sides of this, parallel and square. Let me let, me let it go back. I'm going to bring it back. Right. Now, let me show you this. It's a four-inch lathe compound sign bar. You can see it here. It's got a hardened dowels, as you know, some 1032 screws, some jacking screws. So you can jack, you know, it shows this rare earth magnet here, three of them. Where the hell are they? I don't know. All right, but anyways, I'm going to show you how to put, you can put the sign bar on either side of this vice mate. Let me do this. Hang on, this goddamn thing is a piece of shit. Okay. Alright. I'm showing a sign bar on one side, on this side of the vice. You see it on? on the fixed side of the vice. If I wanted, I could put the sign bar on the other side, which I will do in a moment, okay? Here's the sign bar flipped over, all right? So you, it's ambidextrous. Like that big word. Alright? I'm going to show it to you in the vice, top view, right? You can put the sign bar on this side. See the pins where the mouse is? This this thing that I'm going around, that's the vice mate. It's clamped in. You drop the four inch sign bar on it. You're on this side of the vice. Same setting, you can flip the sign bar over, right, and you're on the opposite side of the vice. You see it? All right? All right, now, let me, let me show you something here. I'm going to give you an application here. Let's say you need 12.436 degrees on whatever you want to set your vice at that angle. You can't do it with the conventional blocks you buy. You, you know, you need a sign bar, right? All right, now let me show you this. All right, I'm showing you the vice clamped to a milling machine table. See the milling machine table? All right, and I'm showing it clamped at 12.436 degrees. How do you set it? Right? Well, in this particular case, I took an adjustable parallel and adjusted it to the stack height, the stack height you need for 12.436 degrees. I did a little calculation here. You see it right here? So, the, you know, the stack height has got to be point. Eight six one four. I said I said it with my adjustable parallel. I clamped it on a vice, and you can see I got invisible lines showing you here. I dropped it on. See it? All right. That's 
sitting in the assembly. They need you know, unclamp the jaws, you're good to go. That's on this side of the vice. I'm doing the same thing over here on the other side of the vice. You see it? The vice is in the same spot on both both of them. But I said I flipped the sign bar over, put the adjustable parallel on this side, right? Got it all straight and I'm good to go. Alright? Alright, let me review this so I don't take too much of your time. Alright? Well, anyways, it's a three piece affair. It's made of steel. Right? It's square and parallel every which way from Sunday. This is the hot setup. Alright, hang on to your sneakers. I want to try and show you something. Well, Hang on. Uh, I'm back to selling again. I showed you this already. I showed you a little bit on how to use it. What I need is I'd like to know what you think of it. You know, this is made of steel. This is not light. This is a heavy item. When I say free shipping, I'm paying some heavy freight to get it to your doorstep. But this is well worth it. You see the picture on the left here? Right here, vice mate, all right? Nice, neat package can be put in a toolbox with no sweat, right? All right, now. All right, if I miss something, put it in the comments. I want you to understand what this thing's about, all right? All right, I'm going to give you the old I'll see you later routine. Hang on. Look, guys, we live in a world that's really unbelievable. I don't like you because you're left-handed and you bring your lunch to work. Uh, everybody's in everybody's face over dumb fucking shit. Let's cut that shit out. Take this message and make it work. Right? Pay it forward. Right? How about, you know, commit a random act of kindness. You don't have to give anybody a million bucks. Just a smile and a compliment won't hurt anybody. All right? You know, every time I turn on my YouTube or TV, all I see is negatives. That sucks. It's getting to me. It must be getting to you. All right, thanks for being patient with me. You know, it's the usual thanks for watching. Look, if you got something to say, make a comment. Tell me I eat kitty litter. I don't really give a rat's ass. I'm bulletproof. I want to know what do you want, and I want to give it to you. Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the flip side.